What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back. It's your boy Blue, and these are the Turtle Beach Velocity One Flight Rudder pedals for Xbox and PC. And surprisingly, they're pretty good. It's seriously been a game changer for me. But is it worth it for you? I started out playing flight simulators with a PlayStation controller for years until I finally got my first budget joystick. But honestly, I didn't see the value in spending so much money on rudder pedals until I finally did. And it was 100% worth it. And now I refuse to fly without them. The Velocity One rudder pedals are priced at $299.99 and due to the high price, I really hate that a lot of people are going to miss out on a great product. These pedals are a huge upgrade to any flight sim setup, so if you can afford it, I can say yes, I recommend it. But if not, then I would tell you there are other cheaper options out there. But remember, you get what you pay for. In the box, you get both large commercial airliner style pedals and smaller general aviation style pedals that are very easy to swap with the included allen wrench two additional springs are included if you want more resistance or a heavier feel there's eight grip pads to keep the rudder pedals from sliding on carpet or tile and four screws if you want to mount it on something like the velocity one stand installation is easy it comes fully assembled with the larger pedals for pc you just plug in the usb that's it no firmware required but for xbox users the velocity one flight controls or flight stick is required there is no direct connection to the xbox as of the recording of this video currently you can't use the pedals with the flight stick only but a firmware that enables this functionality is in the works but there's no eta yet so the rudder pedals will not work without the flight control system also make sure to update the firmware on your flight controls or else everything might not work as expected to get it connected there's literally instructions on the cables for pc use the single usb cable with the green tips and for xbox use the y shape pass-through cable which has two blue tips that plug into your flight controls and the green end goes into your pedals if you're colorblind there are also symbols at the cable ends once it's all connected it's basically plug and play now don't get me wrong as a casual gamer you can fly around with the xbox controller or the twist axis on a joystick and that's cool but if you are ready to get serious and take your flying to the next level you need rudder pedals. It ain't gotta be the Turtle Beach, but you need something. Now the reason the rudder pedals are a game changer for me is because my old pedals, they weren't very smooth. They were twitchy and it was almost impossible to make the finest adjustments, which is extremely important when flying helicopters or executing the perfect crosswind landing. The Velocity One pedals actually solved this problem for me and many more. The rubber pads keep the pedals from sliding on the floor. You can adjust the width of the pedals for those carrying wider loads and a really unnecessary but cool feature is the interchangeable pedals. But honestly, I don't have much negative to say about it. I prefer the Turtle Beach over the Honeycomb Charlie pedals which is the closest competitor. So is it worth it? If you're a casual gamer, this is not for you. If you're looking for cheap pedals, this is also not for you. If you already own a set of $500 rudder pedals, this is definitely not for you. But if you can afford it and you are looking to take your flight sim experience or training to the next level, I say go for it and let me know how you like it. Feedback is always welcome, but I hope I was able to help you make your own educated decision. And until next time, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, or give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time, next video. I'm out.